Hey guys, I hope everyone's doing well. Today I have a story for you and that is Little Owl's Orange Scarf by Tatiana Feeney and I hope you enjoy it. I think this story is adorable and hopefully you will soon agree. <laughs> Little Owl lived with his mommy in a tree house on the edge of the city park. He loved adding numbers and eating ice cream and riding his scooter. He usually loved surprises, but he did not love his new scarf. It was itchy and it was too long and it was far too orange. You need to wear your new scarf, said mommy. It will keep you nice and warm. Well, I tried very hard to lose this new scarf, like as a bow on a gift, or maybe ship it, ship it to Peru. But mommy always found it. <laughs> Moms do that. And you'll need to wear this new scarf today. It's your class visit to the zoo. Little I came home from the zoo with all sorts of stories with lions. Remember in sign language for lions? and elephants, and giraffes, oh, and crocodile. So the sign for crocodile is jump. So I came home with all these stories, but little Al came home without his scarf. Uh-oh. Mommy called the zoo. Nobody had found little Al's worn scarf. Ah. <sighs> Never mind, she said, we can make another scarf and this time we'll do it together. The yarn shop was more exciting than little Al expected. And you can see, or guess at least, which one he picked it. The uh, not orange one right there. And after a lot of hard work, little Al's scarf was finished. And it was soft and it was just long enough and it wasn't orange. And Lil Al loved it. Especially on visits to the zoo. Because as you see, a long necked friend has it now. The end. So I hope you enjoyed the story, Little Al's Orange Scarf, which now he has a blue one, by Tatiana Feeney. Thanks guys, take care, bye.